Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Brawl Stars tier list version 3. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, so I gotta be honest, I actually was not planning on doing a Brawl Stars tier list until the next update. But looking at my last one, it's kind of outdated and it was kind of really long and I think that this is going to be the best thing for you guys. So we've I've revamped the Brawl Stars tier list and now we're going to give you guys this bad boy. Basically what I did is I took some of the best pros in the game right now that are actively playing the game and know the meta through and through and I brought them into a discussion room and I basically said, okay guys, Let's figure out where all the brawlers land for each of these different game modes. I just like st stood back, let them do their magic. They made all the de uh, the decisions on here. And uh, so you know that this is completely bias free from me and probably about as accurate as it possibly can be. Let's go ahead and start off with Bounty. Okay, so first of all, the best brawlers for Bounty are going to be, you got Brock, you got Piper, you got Ricochet, and that just makes sense, right? Then you also have Crow. Crow is just OP. You're going to see him in the S tier for every single game mode for this entire tier list. He's just that good. But the first three, Brock, Piper, and Ricochet, those make sense. They've kind of always been uh, S tier for Bounty anyways. Then we got the Great tier. Uh, we got Bo, Colt, Dynamite. They're good, and they're a little bit more map specific, so there are some maps that are a little bit more or better for them, particularly Dynamite. But they're not bad options, especially if you're wanting to level them up for Bounty. Then lastly, we have the B tier, which is good brawlers that uh, they can be good in certain circumstances, uh, particularly if you're really good with them. But most of the time, you're better off going with the S tier brawlers and sometimes the A tier brawlers. Now you notice that we took the brawlers that are not good for Bounty, and we just took them off this tier list, because who really cares which brawlers are just like not good for the game mode, right? Like, just don't play those brawlers. You'll be fine. Now let's talk about some gem grab. Now you notice that these are nicely color -cored, coded according to the role that they fit. You got purple for gem carry, you got blue for support, and you've got red for aggro. I will mention though that Crow can have some type of a dual role where he can actually play aggro and gem carrier. That's right, in the S tier, we've got Crow, Pam, and Ricochet. Pam is definitely going to be your gem carrier for, of choice, and then Ricochet is your support brawler for, of choice, um, and then Crow is just, he's so good. <laughs> if you want to push with Crow, now's the time to do it. If you don't have Crow, run for your lives. Then we got our A tier brawlers. For a gem carrier, we have Jesse. Uh, for support, we got Spike, and then for your aggro brawlers, we have Terra, Nita, and then Dynamite, of course. Dynamite is also a really strong brawler right now. However, he is kind of map dependent, and while he does really well on certain gem grab maps, there are some gem grab maps that he's just like okay with. So rather than putting him in the S tier or the B tier, we put him right there in the middle for the A tier. Up next, we got Showdown. I was really excited to get some pros together to try and put this tier list together because Showdown seems to kind of be all over the place. So this was really cool to see right here. The pros decided to rate Crow once again S tier in Showdown. We got Colt as well. One of the reasons why Colt does such a good job is because he's able to deal so much damage at a close range. He also has a pretty far enough range that he can get, deal with some of those brawlers that also have a longer range. You take that and add the fact that he's got those slick boots that make him run faster than almost everybody else and Colt no wonder why he's S tier right now for Showdown. As far as your other great brawlers in the A tier, we've got Daryl, we got Ricochet, we got Terra, we got Dynamite, we also have Spike as well for great players to play in Showdown. I will mention that Dynamite seems to be particularly map dependent, like he always is, but even then, you could probably push him in almost any map right now, simply because he's so good, except for maybe Feast or Famine. Then of course in your B tier, we've got Barley, kind of a, a secondly okay Dynamite. Then you got Shelly as well, who's somebody that I do think needs some type of a buff right now. She's B tier in Showdown, B tier in Brawl Ball, and that's all. Then we got El Primo. Brock actually does pretty decently in Showdown right now because he's he's just got those big massive rockets. They do tons of damage. He's good at keeping people away. His super can take care of a lot of brawlers at once, but you do have to be pretty good with him. Then we got Bull, and we also have Piper. Piper is a really interesting one. I was not convinced that Piper could be played in Showdown, but according to the pros, you can actually push her in Showdown if you're good enough, particularly on Thousand Lakes, where she does really well. That map does a good job at catering to long-range brawlers, and she outputs a ton of damage from a distance, which is one reason why she does such a good job there. One thing that I did want to talk about for Showdown is the fact that you have the tanks like Daryl, El Primo, Bull, 
and kind of Shelly, the shotgunners, I guess, used to be really, really fantastic for showdown. And as we can see, the fact that auto aim is just so strong, you've got all these other brawlers that deal so much damage and make it really hard for these tanks to kind of get close to them. They're all struggling in showdown. Well, they're still pretty good. I mean, they made it onto this tier list, but they're struggling more than they used to, which is very unique. Next we have Heist, and Heist is really interesting because there are very few brawlers that are actually really good at Heist. There are some brawlers, they're like, dude, yeah, I freaking rock at offense. Or, oh yeah, I can hold a defense like no problem. But most brawlers can't do both, and that's why a lot of them actually are, actually are not onto this tier list, because you can't choose if you're going on offense or if you're going on defense. But this is your tier list right now, okay? So you got Colt, you got Crow, once again, and you got Dynamite are at the excellent S tier category. Honestly, if you have a team of those three brawlers, you're gonna be set whether you're offense, defense, and those three brawlers worked extremely well together. You got Dynamite and Colt who are able to blast through those walls. You got Crow who's able to push people back with his daggers. Then of course you have Dynamite who's just amazing on defense as a thrower and then also fantastic on offense. For the A tier, we do have Barley who's a good pseudo filler for Dynamite. Although is there really a replacement for Dynamite right now. Poor Barley. But then we also have Brock who does a really good job at using his super to try and control defense and offense as well. Ricochet does a pretty good job, although I will say that Ricochet does require somebody else to try and break through the walls for him to really function. Daryl is in the B tier right now because he is able to use his super to just kind of like charge right in there, deal a ton of damage to the safe, push people back, uh, makes Daryl a pretty good, a, a good choice. Lastly, we've got Brawl Ball, which is definitely the most diverse of all of the game modes right now. There's a ton of different brawlers that you can play. In fact, 14 out of 19 brawlers can play Brawl Ball and have some type of a role in Brawl Ball, which is really exciting. You'll see the picture of the tier list over to the right of me and you will notice that the green brawlers are going to be considered ball carriers, blue are field control brawlers, and then we've got red, which are wall breakers, or basically like DPS types of brawlers. In the S tier, we have Crow. Once again, we have Terra as a great field control, and we also do have uh, Rico as well, who does a great job at keeping people away, bouncing shots off walls, makes it really hard for people to get up close to that actual uh, goal. Then we have Colt as the S tier brawler for a wall breaker. One thing you will notice though, is we do not have a single ball carrier as an S tier brawler. I was convinced that you needed a ball carrier. Somebody was designated to be a ball carrier for Brawl Ball. But the pros explained to me that right now the meta is just so heavy on the field control that it is so hard for these brawlers that are considered to be ball carriers, these tanks or up range like, or mortis, to even get anywhere close to the actual goal because of all the field control and because of just the way the game is balanced right now. As such, yes, you can do really well with a ball carrier, but they did let me know that honestly, you're probably just fine I'm going with three control brawlers or two control and a cult. That being said, we do have Mortis in the A tier. Now I will put a disclaimer here that Mortis is extremely difficult to play. In the hands of the right pl uh, player, Mortis is S tier and in the hands of me, he's an F tier. <laughs> he's... Oh, I don't know if I'll ever be good with Mortis again, but in the hands of the right player, he can definitely be S tier, which is why we decided to place him in the A tier, because he's kind of in the middle ground depending on how well you are. Then we also have Spike and Nita as great field control brawlers, and then Brock as an A tier wall breaker. Then you got these other brawlers. You got uh, these ball carriers, right? You got El Primo, Daryl Bull. They're all really struggling right now because of the balance of the meta right now. Then we got Jesse as a B tier field control, and then we got Dynamite and Shelly as your wall breakers. Now, Dynamite is a really strong brawler right now. He's considerably one of the strongest, probably right after Crow. That being said, he is a little bit more map dependent, and you gotta know how to play him well to make him really successful, particularly because he's extremely weak when you're up close to him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I know a lot of you are probably curious about what I thought of Supercell's response for the Q&A that happened recently. For my answers to that, make sure you check out Lex's channel. If he hasn't already, he's going to be posting a video soon where he, Coach Corey, and I all discuss the various aspects of that and you're not going to want to miss it. I wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out to all of the pros that helped me with this tier list specifically. We've got Coach Corey. We got Corey. I Spike. We got Ilfstria, Kaner, Keenan, Master Walrus, all of 
Oil, Pika Boy, Portal, Probert, The Gamer, Real Canadian, Shadow Jutsu, The Secret, and of course, Wave Rider. Thank you to them. Thank you to you for watching this video. Please let me know what you think about this tier list in comparison to previous tier lists. If you like it more, if you like it less, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.